Enneagram types explained. I am going to teach you exactly what in the world the Enneagram is because so many people are talking about it. And I'm also going to tell you what people get wrong about the Enneagram and why they struggle to apply it to their life. If this is your first time here on my channel, hey, my name is Callie Ammons and I'm a personal Enneagram life coach. And my entire mission is to help people understand themselves so that they can live more effectively in their life. I really believe that God created us to walk and live in abundance, and you and I have the ability to take control of their life. So I'm a podcaster, an influencer, if you will. My, my whole goal is just to help people show up for their life and to stay committed. But enough about me, let's get into the Enneagram and all how this can help you thrive in your life. So the first thing, what is the Enneagram? The Enneagram is like a nine type personality test. Think if you had nine different kids in your life, all nine of those kids of your children are going to be completely different. Not one of them is the exact same as someone else, even if they look similar. That's what the Enneagram is. It's explaining how we as humans view the world from an internal space, like based on our gut reactions, our emotions, and how we think and feel. It's explaining it in nine different ways. So you might be like, wait, Callie, there's only nine different types of people. Yes, kind of, but no, it goes so much deeper than just nine different types of humans. But that's how the Enneagram splits it up is into nine different personalities. So it's kind of like a personality assessment. But what the Enneagram focuses on and why it's so different than other personality assessments is it focuses on your internal world, meaning why do you do what you do? Why are you and I both outgoing? It could be completely for different reasons, and oftentimes it is. Why are you and I both introverted? Or maybe during conflict, we get really reactive and loud, or maybe you withdraw. There are reasons for that, and when you and I can understand one, why we're doing what we're doing, it starts to make so much more sense in our life and how we show up on a daily basis. But number two, it helps us not feel so crazy. I used to always feel so ambitious growing up. I'm a type three on the Enneagram, which in the next video, I'm going to teach you what that means. But I felt so ambitious and would wonder what's wrong with me? Why am I like this? Other people aren't like this. But when I learned about the Enneagram, I realized this is how God made me. And it's nothing to be ashamed of, but it's something to own and to fully step into but to be healthy and responsible with it okay so with the enneagram there are three different lies if you will or misconceptions that people have about it and it actually keeps them from experiencing growth and so i want to go over all three of these with you are you ready the first one is the lie that the enneagram puts me in a box I used to say this before I really got into the Enneagram and I hear this from so many potential clients. They're like, Callie, this sounds awesome, sounds kind of cool, but I don't want something to put me in a box. I'm not this certain personality type. And here's my answer to that. You're right you aren't going to be put in a box actually the enneagram helps you get out of this box and i'm with you i don't want to be put in a box either but the cool thing is that our personalities we often act out of them because we're running away from a core fear so a core fear for a type three which is my type is being scared of being unsuccessful or being seen as incompetent and so out of that core fear my natural default with my personality is to try to prove that I'm successful, I'm competent, which that just leads to destruction. And so when we understand our core fear and why we're doing what we're doing, the Enneagram actually helps us to get out of that box or that cycle of life where we're just trying to act and do in order to look a certain way or to get people's approval or to feel good about ourselves. And so it helps you bust out of that box, which is the whole goal and purpose. And the cool thing is when you and I are healthy, we actually start to look like different Enneagram types. You see an entire like whole complete human is accessing the good of different types of the Enneagram. And so you're not just a type one or a type two or a type nine. You actually are becoming a whole human accessing the good parts of different Enneagram types, which I will teach you so much more about in later videos. 
the second thing that people get wrong with the Enneagram is they think they have to take a test in order to figure out their Enneagram type. This is a message I get all the time on Instagram. If you're not following me, make sure you go follow me there. But on Instagram, people DM me and they say, Callie, can you recommend the best test? Where do I take my test? How do I get officially certified of what Enneagram type I am? And they're shocked at my response. I say, I don't recommend a test. Actually, I don't think you should take one. Now, there's incredible leaders out there like Ian Cron, Suzanne Stabile, Beth McCord, people that I respect that have tests. But even them, these incredible teachers say that, you know what? A test isn't always 100% accurate. It can be helpful to get an idea of maybe where to start with your Enneagram type or your top three results, but that doesn't define you. And the reason is... When we take a test, I mean, sometimes I might check a box saying that I'm an organized person, but look at my house. Am I really that organized? Or I could say I'm good at handling conflict, but am I really? And so depending on how good you are really assessing yourself, people get false results all the time based on their Enneagram type. And so I have clients that come to me that are like, okay, let's figure out my type or let's confirm it. And they've actually already thought they knew their type. And we end up finding out that they have completely mistyped themselves all because they were relying on a test. In fact, the first time I took a test, it said I was a type seven and then a type eight, but I'm actually a type three. So then you might be wondering, okay, we get it. There's not a test that we need to take to confirm our type. So how do we know our type? You discover your type by learning, learning about the Enneagram. Just like you're watching this video right now, you're taking a step towards you're taking a step towards learning. I have a podcast called Living Enneagram. There's so many other fantastic Enneagram podcasts that you can listen to, learn from. Even in your local areas, there's often schools and churches that have Enneagram coaches come in and do a live workshop where you can learn about it throughout the day. And you, you, my friend, at the end of the day, are the only one that can actually determine your Enneagram type. Because here's the thing, I can ask you questions and I can help lead you to an answer, but I can't tell you why you do what you do, just like you can't tell me why I do what I do. We see external behavior, but just like you and I both might be outgoing, we could be doing it for completely different reasons. In the Enneagram, you figure out your Enneagram type based on that core motivation of your internal world. So educating yourself, reading books, listening to podcasts, watching YouTube channels, going to live workshops, educating yourself, you're going to determine your Enneagram type by doing just that. Okay, are you ready for point number three, the biggest mistake people make? We often say, this is just me. Meaning, we finally figure out our Enneagram type. You're like, yes, I am a type four on the Enneagram. This is just me, this is who I am. I'm kind of sad, I'm kind of mellow sometimes and just deal with it, this is who I am. But that's not what the purpose of the Enneagram is. The purpose is to help you understand your core motivation, but we can't stop at that because if we just stop with, this is who I am, going back to how I just explained with our personality acting out of our fear, when we do that, it keeps us in a position of being stuck, trying to operate out of this fear, but it's exhausting and it's not fulfilling and it literally keeps us stuck in mud. Like we can't move forward and experience growth when we're in that state of fear. And so this is where people go wrong is they might do a little bit of research with the Enneagram. They figure out their type, but then they stay stuck. And the whole point is that as you are aware of your Enneagram type and you start to learn what the good, the bad, the ugly, like all of it looks like, you get to become a more whole and complete human by going to work. You have to do work. Think about it. Any relationship in your life that's good, or if you run a business or you work at a job or you're trying to get a promotion, it takes work to get a result, correct? That's the same thing for our own life. It's kind of weird, but we have to get to know ourselves. We have to start figuring out, why do I do what I do? Why does that make me mad? Why do I get so agitated at that? Why am I always crying about these topics? It's not a bad thing necessarily, but 
You and I have to do deep work to truly get to know ourselves. And when we do that, when we do the hard work that it takes to grow and become healthier and healthier, and I like to teach it to live in alignment with truth of who God created you to be, that, my friend, is when you are utilizing the Enneagram to its full advantage and you are becoming a healthier version of yourself, accessing different types of your wings, you're accessing your subtype, you're moving to the growth path from your Enneagram type, and you're becoming healthy and more whole. And that's what the goal is. In fact, when you're healthy, it should be hard to type you because you look not like your basic stereotype personality type because you are becoming a more complete and whole human. Friends, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're not because we have new content coming out every single week and my mission is to educate you about the Enneagram completely for free so that you can level up your life and become the person God created you to be.